Oh, happy Lunar New Year. Uh, so, we, we, well, we don't need to play anything for free. We, we, have, we have basically all of it. Uh, howdy, and welcome to Hitman World of Assassination. We're still in and the elusives, you know, still handling them. Um, there was a little, little uh, mode, a little gift at the end of 2023 that went on a little bit more into uh, 2024 of elusive targets galore, which oh, I just mm, career. I always forget where it is um, where they were like, oh, there's year four now. Oh, well, all right. Well, was year three. Oh, was year three done. How do I get back to year three? Oh, there's still, OK, well, I guess they started year four. I was mm, a little panic there. Um, these are all people we've killed, though. Uh, but year into year three, they were like, "Here is the elusive targets galore," which they opened up all of the elusive targets again. Have you had you not previously eliminated them or killed them? You'll notice the iconoclast here. Which, depending on how I've decided to release these, you might have not seen her, but I did take her out. Um, so I have a chance for all the elusive targets that I missed, which you know cool I, I i appreciate it a lot because i was like oh damn it i missed all of these elusive targets um but as you'll notice you know along with missing them i have waited till the last second to handle eight of these uh we don't need to do the bad boy uh because we killed him in um the bombastics so we don't really need to do that one um if i was smart i would have taken him out you know I, it's been a minute since i played this game but i actually opened this up and took out uh, i don't know where he is he might not be on this list anymore um <clears throat> But I took out the stowaway uh, because, you know, they, they reopened them in like two chunks, like one in like December and one like starting in January or whatever, something like that. So we'll be able to handle the elusive targets that I missed. You know, give me another shot at them. Uh, give me another chance to mess them up. And I'm going to be doing them in order. And you might have seen the iconoclast first. If not, you'll see her uh, in a minute. Uh, let's let's see what the deal with the ex dictator is. Good afternoon, 47. Your targets are Richard Aquensi, former Central African dictator, and his gold digger wife, Inez. Following a broker departure from power, the targets have lived off the money they looted during their reign. The ICA has learned that the two will be at the Himapan Hotel in Bangkok at a clandestine meeting with a representative of French intelligence. The targets have been avoiding media attention in recent months and will likely not arrive at the hotel via the river. He takes no risks with his personal safety, so expect his security team to cover all possible approaches. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. So this will be an interesting one because also I haven't, I haven't spent a ton of time in Bangkok. Like the last time I played Bangkok... Uh, since Hitman 1 was when we uh, did uh, trying to unlock uh, the codename 47 outfit, uh, which I, I, don't, I don't remember what we used in the last episode. Um, I'm going to try and keep better tabs of it, but we'll, we'll use uh, 47. Um, okay, so she mentioned something about not arriving by the river, so I assume that means that, like, Oh, maybe there's like a helicopter pad somewhere on the roof. I don't remember the level that well. I remember there's something on the roof where like uh, during the, the cult um, DLC, there's something there. Maybe that's a uh, helicopter pad normally. It doesn't really matter. We don't really have many places to start. So we might as well just start from the beginning and see where it can get us. Uh, can we smuggle in an item in our suite? Um, something. Let's pick our, our real items before we worry about that. Poison, you know, always useful. Coin, always useful. Um, do we want an explosive? We do have two targets to take out uh, since we have to take out um, both the ex <laughs> the ex dictator and the gold digger. You know, she's her own elusive target. You know, just they they come as a package. Uh, so I mean, we could just bring an explosive, but you know, with explosives. I could throw it and we could end up killing some innocent people and we wouldn't want to do that, I guess. Um, so maybe we will take a poison and that could be useful. I mean, we could bring a, um, I think this is a, this puts people to sleep. Yeah. It's a sedative poison. Um, yeah, we could maybe make a plan with this. I feel like 
ultimately I'm probably going to have to uh, play around with this since, you know, I don't, don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, so, you know, I might have to like come back and mess around with our loadout. Uh, so sure, we'll just put some bat shuriken in there. Um, so Diana said that uh, they're meeting with the French diplomat, I think. French something. Um, not exactly sure what that could mean. Maybe there's a meeting room somewhere in the hotel. Uh, my map isn't filled out since, of, you know, the Hitman 1 stuff, I did not transfer it over because I'm a moron, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I didn't do that. Um, but based on the opening movie, uh, I can't... Well, I could put my mouse on screen. I don't, it, it's not worth it. Uh, but that far right window, it looked like he was in a rightmost window that could be the rightmost window um, from our current perspective, of course. Rightmost window... Uh, on the front, oh, it could have not been the front side. I was going to say, you know, the front side of either the right or the left building, um, but it could be either one. So I guess we're just going to jump in and see what happens. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. On-site intelligence has confirmed that the target will arrive shortly and that the Himapan restaurant has had a last-minute booking for two. Good hunting. Okay, restaurant means that we don't have to uh, look around too hard. Also, how did I forget that you could do... I feel like there's been so many times that I'm like, how do you zoom in? Turns out it's the left trigger. I just never think to hit the triggers, I guess. I guess because the bumpers, you know, right bumper does the Batman vision and then right bumper or left bumper run so it's like oh well i never really need to bother with those other ones um <clears throat> this is gonna be fun because as you can tell you? uh hey what's up it's been it's been a minute um so you know i don't really don't sometimes i don't got the buttons right it, it happens um we know we know that asshole okay so we know they have a reservation in the restaurant uh at some point uh oh god i i was like is that really all I absorb from what Diana said? Oh, maybe I should listen to what she said again. So they're not arriving by river. So they're probably coming down. Um, if they are in the uh, restaurant, if, I mean, if we learn where they are at, in the restaurant, um, Checking in. if we learn, oh, yep, yeah, yeah, thank you, Mr. Reaper. I can't, I can't grab it. Thank you. Um, uh, I, I do still have the Tobias Reaper thing, just always being his uh, alias. Pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, if we know they're going to be in the restaurant at some point, we can just wait it out and see what happens. Uh, but, you know, we might as well explore in the meantime, because uh, it sounds like they'll be coming down from somewhere at some point. There's some guys. There's like a party. Yeah, I figured. Uh, we have a key card. So we had like fancy boy stuff. We could go in there. I think that's just part of the level normal, not uh, part of thing. Oh, man, I was about to say, I'm going to discover all these things, and if I have to reset, I don't know if they'll, like, cut, like transfer over. I imagine that we'll lose that, my Loudon. The Red Admiral Lounge. No, thank you. I, I do, too. I think it's pretty good. I, you know, I had to put in, put in a little bit of work to get this. Um, was there coin on the floor? no it's just it's just they have like little gold squares and then it confused me because it's like oh yeah you know like a little square to tell you there's an item to pick up oh did i actually go to the right side of the hotel to get to my room because we're 203 i believe i mean our intel i mean it doesn't really matter oh, 205 i was not i was not paying attention i was trying to get <laughs> get past that so we could uh you know get into level proper because we don't really need to see our room uh or anything there are like little boxes out here and based on, oh, ne never mind. Well, I was going to say, oh, did they put us right next to the targets like room? Cause that, that'd be convenient. But also the, they, um, they'd probably be on a higher floor cause I assume higher floor, more expensive just to guess. It's, I think that's how that normally works. Not ex exactly sure. I mean, this is just an expensive looking hotel. Um, like it would financially ruin me to, to get a hotel this this size, boy. No. And you know, 
what else would financially ruin me is to even look at this this little uh, mini fridge. It always sucks when places have these mini fridges, and you know they got the junk in it where they're like, "Oh, hey, if you want, uh, if you want the stuff, you know, you can take the stuff, but we'll charge you a shit ton of money for it." But then it's also like the only refrigerator. It's like, well, if I have anything I need to put in the refrigerator and there's not enough room, I'll have to take their shit out and then put it back in. Oh, I'm holding the shuriken. Yeah, I, I didn't didn't notice that. <laughs> it's been a pro. Well, I was gonna say lately, but it's been a couple months since I played uh, the drop. Well, but that's that's fine. This will give me a chance to hear what Diana had said had to say again and see if we kept our um our lo locale unlocked things. I don't think they'll stick. Okay, so our our location unlocks do stick, so that's good. At the very least, uh, you know, we don't have to like. Well, I mean, I don't really need to run around to get the unlocks. It would just be nice to have uh, my map filled out. So if we ever have to do things again, it's not. I'm not going to follow you. I know exactly where to go, even though you. Uh, oh, I thought I thought the guy was like complaining, like once we ran away. Um, so, yeah, basically the only information Diana gave us was. Wait, went a lot of it. Went. Sir, you need clearance to pass through. Is my? Did I not? What did I do wrong this time? I have my key card. Is that not clearance? To did I do? Did I go somewhere different and I wasn't paying attention? Do I need to talk to you? Well, you don't want to talk to me anymore. Is it just like a timed thing? Like enough time will go by and that guy will move out of the way? Like they're kind of like sectioning off. Like there's some fancy. Yeah, like he's not there now. So they're kind of just running uh, protection at certain. Oh, has restricted access. Sorry. My lad. Sir, I would strongly listen to his advice. I'm not allowed to go upstairs. Well, all right. If you say so. Is there anything in the staff room? Oh, this is a big staff room. Uh, oh, you know, I went in there and I saw the size of that room. And I'm like, oh boy, I think I got lost in there at one point. Guys, I just, are you going to like back off now that people are going away? Yeah, okay, so they just kind of section off parts at different times. Like, this is something I'd probably remember from level normal. Uh, well, I say that, but I, I probably wouldn't have remembered that uh, anyways. Was there anything useful we got uh, that wasn't in our room? I mean, we didn't really pick up anything real useful. I mean, you know, having the shuriken, having the knives could be cool. Um, I mean, it does, like, we'll have... Um, illegal stuff on us that we shouldn't have if we, you know, run around with it. Um, we can hide it in our, our case. Let me go ahead and put those away so that doesn't cause a problem. And what do we have? We have all the stuff. Okay. So we know they're going to be in the restaurant. It sounds like we could potentially uh, intercept them. Uh, I don't think we're going to since I'm basically just going to, like, run up and down. No, no, buddy. You're not coming through here. Sorry. Okay. So, based on the way that's trashed, um, how many floors does this baby have? Okay, so yeah. Uh, wait, are we considered on level 3 right now? Okay, I wasn't sure since, you know. This would be, yeah, see, it says second floor there, but it's uh, labeled level 3 since, I guess, level 0. I, you, you understand. They're just level, the second floor is level 3. It confused me for one second. Um, yeah, so... Level four and five is where like Jordan Cross, the uh, rock star we had to kill, is hanging out. So we're not allowed up there for those reasons. They're blocking that off probably for reasons related to level as well. Um, so we know our targets are going to show up in the restaurant. Or oh, or was Jordan Cross over here? Don't argue with me in depth. No talking, just walk. Okay, you get it. Oh, we could talk to her to be like, oh, we're special guests or whatever to get into places that we're not supposed to, if I'm correct, which I honestly probably am not. But I remember we could talk to her. Well, I rem <laughs> I saw a prompt on screen that said we can talk to her. I remember. Oh, there goes my next oh, oh, such wit. Um, so we know at some point they're going to show up to this restaurant, assuming this is the Hemel, Hemel pen. Is that what they said? It's probably the only restaurant in, in the thing. Hey, what's up? Because, uh, you know, 
I, I, well, I was going to say it'd be ridiculous to have, have multiple restaurants, but I mean, it's like a fancy ass place. So there might be like an even fancier, fancy restaurant, uh, you know, somewhere in here. That line read was weird. Oh, it's this. Okay. Because I was like, it sounded like like the mic was muffled because it was like, what is this? But it was that his mouth was full. <laughs> I I took it to because we were looking at these guys. And I thought it was like one of them. And I was, oh, hey, sorry. I almost ran straight into you. Um, uh, I, I, one of the guys like had a cigarette in his mouth. And I was like, is, is that what they're going for? Like, what what is up with that? So I guess the game plan is to wait for them to arrive. Mm, it's not really a good game plan. It's something we can do. That is not restaurant. That is uh, lounging. I assume they're going to get like a nice, nice seat. Um, oh, there's so many people that wanted to talk all at the same time. I assume they're going to get like a nice, nice seat and not just sit like wherever. Oh, the patio. I remember we we, uh, we met our friend um, Jeff here. Uh, Jeff from... Uh, what was the cult's thing? Patient Zero. I forget what the the actual like cult cult was, because uh, I, I I think the cult stuff kind of goes away pretty quickly. It's it's been a long time since uh, that. See, so I'm not I'm not exactly sure. I don't really want to just stand around here and wait for them to arrive. Also, especially since you know, for all I for all I know, for the the very little brain cells that get utilized and remembering where things are and such um where things are when they happened why they happened um you know i could just be remembering wrong and there's another restaurant so let's see where where we can just look around in the meantime you know welcome sir to the hemipan hotel do enjoy your stay oh that's that's all welcome sir to the hemipan okay hotel. well we can just have her loop that um, all right. I wasn't sure if we could like, I think there's something you can do. Maybe it's a disguise or whatever, where you can like walk up to her and be like, I should really have access to this, you know? Um, like, is this, is this a restaurant? Yeah, that's not going to work, buddy. Can't let you through. I can't tell if this is a restaurant or not. Um, oh wait, is, oh, no, 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 no. Maybe that's why I had, because the right trigger puts, see, gets his killing hand ready to go. Um, and previously I, when I didn't have my case, I could use it to zoom in. But yeah, I think that's our, our guy. Are they both together? I only see guy. I mean, probably him. Uh, okay. So we need to get back there. So we're probably going to need to do a, do a little, Hey, stop yelling at me. Jeez. I was just, just looking in being like, just, is that my target? I think, I'm supposed, I think I'm supposed to kill that guy? Hmm. I don't know. Just, you know, just <laughs> muttering under your breath uh, the entire time, you know. Just trying to figure out. It's normal. I did only see him. I think his wife was wearing a white dress. Oh, I can only see the pearls. Okay. I feel like she was wearing a white dress. Um, once again, brain brain cells, uh, you know, the, the memory. It's, uh, ooh, uh, not so good. Uh, so, you know, it's probably, probably a white dress. So we need to change. Um, I never liked whenever people have long sleeves and shorts. It's such a weird decision to me. I say that, but then I think about like um, gone, uh, gone hunter, hunter, uh, like outfit. And it's like, you know, but he also, he's a, he's a plucky young lad. You know, he, he can get away with it. Are you just going into a court? Like, I can't just whack you and take your clothes here. What are you doing? Oh, you're just, just coming the leaves. I mean, I guess... It's not that weird of a thing. Uh, so we could just knock him out, leave him there. But then we'll definitely get a body discovered. Uh, like, yeah, she would have been like, oh, my God. The dude that works here is just laying here. Do you auto? Yeah, you auto pick it up. Can I, like, summon someone here? What does the call do? Call room service. Yeah, it's called room service. They'll bring us uh, an outfit. The mini bar. I'm glad that his his mouth doesn't move. Like I mean that uh, like legitimately. Like I am glad that it didn't move. So let's see. Let's look at our digs. What do we have here? 
like a bottle of champagne, uh, shirts, not, com- oh, well, I was going to say it's not complimentary, but they've already poured us two glasses, which maybe it's like, oh shit, you got here fast. Um, you, you can, you're dismissed. It, it, it is a lovely day. I don't know if that was intentional, but it's, uh, um, I almost, I almost called Agent 47 super great friend, Jesus. Um, uh, Agent 47, like, just crouched down immediately after taking the dude out, uh, which I thought was pretty good. The throwing the case always very very satisfying. So y'all take a nap. Put you on opposite sides for politeness. Not going to just throw you on top of each other like I normally would. Uh cuz you know, it's not what just happened to y'all wasn't your fault. This didn't need to happen to you, but I did do it. So I'm sorry. Man, I'm seeing the bat shuriken thing on screen, and we might be throwing bat shuriken at people today. That might be that might be the mood I'm in. Okay, so now I'm in staff. You gonna? You hey, what's up? Sir, I'm gonna have to search you. Yep, I'm just gonna walk away for no specific reason. Please don't question it. <laughs> you, you you can absolutely frisk me. I have no no problem with that. It's just I gotta I that that sounded a little weird. Um. Let's see. I'm feel, feeling feeling bat shuriken. Um, yes, I'd like to conceal an item. I would like to conceal my bat shuriken. Uh, and we will. Oh, I can only conceal one. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, we can always come back for more bat shur. I was hoping that we would bring all three. That's a little weak. So, my if I was a smart man, I what I would do is I bring my gun over over the bat shuriken, but, you know, gun solves a lot of problems. Bat, uh, bat shuriken also solves a lot of problems, but... Oh, I didn't drop my bat shuriken. That would that'd help. You can go down and get frisked uh, with, um, you know, all my stuff. Okay, I have to drop them one at a time. And our explosive's fine. We'll just walk out here. We'll close our door. Hopefully they're not like, hey, those... Those room service people we sent didn't come back. His mini bar must have been absolutely fucked. How's it going? Yep, yep. Sir, need to check that you're not carrying anything dangerous. Frisking not allowed. Oh, do they check the case? I thought they didn't check. Hmm. Okay. Huh. For some reason, I thought the case was like safe. Um, like they do play the animation of the case, you know, being opened. But for some reason, I thought. That um, that for some reason that that actually didn't like matter or count. Uh, which button just drops it? There we go. So we just have a bunch of illegal shit uh, right in front of our door. So if I ever opened it at the wrong time, you know, every oh, nope, that's the opposite of what I wanted actually. Okay, so we're going in with nothing. Uh, maybe I should uh, take that into account uh, if we have to replan our mission. How you doing? Maybe the idea is. We'll that you can be, here, that you can be frisked with an illegal item in your case and get in trouble in one, and they change that in two. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Not, not exactly sure. I feel like I've gone in with illegal stuff in my case before. Uh, maybe it's a cer certain case has like uh, a bonus to it. Um, oh, the dude's. Oh, well, he's over there. Okay. Okay, so he's talking about uh, like, oh yeah, let me tell you about this place I fucked up. Um, so his wife doesn't seem to be around. There's a problem guy coming by. So if he's around, if he's chilling here. It might be for the best to bring like a, um, like a lethal poison in here. And then like, maybe at some point he'll be like, mm, boy, I can't wait to walk over and have this whiskey, um, or whatever. Cause he doesn't have like a drink by his table. <clears throat> okay, yeah, maybe he's just walking back and forth. Uh, yeah, this doesn't seem to be a restaurant. This seems to be just, like, a bar. So maybe he chills here until some point, and then he goes to find... 
Wait, don't don't you work here? Why would why would you ask that, my Aladdin? I'm sorry, this is not for house staff. Okay, well, I just, so, uh, just skedaddle out of here. I will skedaddle. Do not worry. Ooh, no, 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 no. Um. Sir, please, sir, this is a restricted. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that didn't that didn't work out, but that's fine. Um. Okay, so. We can get into here, but we can't bring any things. His wife isn't here. Probably, I guess, in their room at the moment. If I just just a shot in the dark, probably chilling in their room. Uh, and bringing in illegal items going to be a problem. So let's change our bat shuriken to something um, that we can get away with, I guess. Oh, I unlocked the feather duster when I when I killed um, the stowaway with the actual. Uh, elusive target and instead of uh, elusive target arcade which is the one that uh, y'all saw um, so maybe we should just bring in more point just bring in a bunch of fucking poison um, I mean do we do we want to just you know just bring some lethal pills you know make it easy you know just pop them in call it a day um, I guess we could do that um, will it show in details like doesn't say it's illegal like, if I go to um, something that's clearly illegal, oh, I, that's not a bomb. Okay, it doesn't list itself as illegal in the details. Something tells me carrying around a syringe is probably illegal. Um, I mean, I guess we can find out. Um, but I, yeah, you know, bring, bring us... Well, well, it'd probably be better to have um, the, the pills uh, anyways. Since with the pills we can, you know, you know, put them in food or whatever, and not have to with the syringe, you know, gotta just you know do the deed. Um, explosive. They're if they're gonna be in a table, also, you know, we could just you know figure out what table they are, plant the thing, call it a day, or you know, yeet a duck at them and see what happens. Uh, what do I got right now? The sleep. Yeah, you know, if we're gonna go, if we're gonna go explosive, we should probably just eat a duck. But I mean, we're bringing poison, so maybe I could double up on poison pills um, already in use. No, I can't double up. I could also just bring the syringe then. So then, like, when a one of them dies, the other goes, ah, no, they're dead. We go, you know, and give them the little. We'll bring the duck. I think I think this is good. Okay. Uh, I'm basically going to do the same thing again. Uh, I'm going to like look around a bit and see if I can find uh, his his wife. Sir, hey. God damn it. Move, move. Um, so I decided to follow the guy, and for some reason when I walked into that hallway, I was immediately put into combat. They didn't even give me a chance to like back down. They weren't like, hey, you're not allowed to be here. I just walked in and they were immediately like, no, you know what? You're wrong. You shouldn't be here. I wonder if um, <clears throat> this kind of like locking down on this area, I guess, is probably related to the elusive target. And so maybe following the level to like, like, oh, this guy will walk you to your room. So then, you know, you can get his outfit instead of having to call room service. Perhaps that uh, the timing is off on that. Oh, that was a good hit, actually. Wow. That, I mean, that, that's why they call him the Hitman. Makes sense. Oh, there's a, there's a door here where we can sneak around these guys so we don't have to get frisked. They're not, they're not doing very good at that. So I could, I could have my gun if I wanted to, or, you know, other manner of illegal items. I could sneak it into this area, uh, without having to get frisked. Good to know, but, I mean... We're probably just going to blow them up at dinner. Uh, so he's probably just here chilling at the bar, uh, bragging to... Was it this dude? I mean, he's the only dude here, but I, I thought the dude was wearing a different outfit last time. Like, coming up here and being like, Oh, yeah, let me tell you about this. <laughs> You'll never believe this, but I'm an ex-dictator. I don't dabble it in, in anymore myself, but, you know, I could tell you, give you a few pointers on how to dictate. I took my eyes off the dude and he's gone. Okay, so the guy goes into that room uh, and that's how I lost him because I was like, he didn't come out that way because obviously we were there. Uh, he did just, 
go into there. I guess that was that meeting with uh, uh, the French diplomat, question mark? I think that's who he was meeting with. Um, and his, I believe I saw his wife go by in a blue dress. I was completely wrong. Not a white dress at all. Um, so, you know, he's talking, he's talking business with the guy in the red shirt. Uh, his wife, I believe, walked out here. Maybe she's been seated, perhaps. We can figure out uh, where we're going to have to yeet an explosive at uh, in advance. I'm not sure. I probably should have followed her. Because, like, is he just... Did he just sit back down? Yeah, he just sat back down. Uh, so, you know, I probably had a good chance. Like, I, I would have taken out uh, some double cops. And I, I think there were other people than double cops in the area. Um, but you know, we would have taken out people who aren't our targets, which, you know, we typically don't do. Oh, please don't come this way. I was like, did I pick like the worst place I could have hit from her? Uh, she going to overlook the back balcony. Yes, she is. Okay. So I'll, I'll run down here because, uh, oh, I forgot about that guy. Uh, if she just walked out here, maybe she's chilling around out here by herself waiting for Den Den. Um, while he does his, uh, business, which seems like it's probably not going well. Like, she's just like, oh, yeah, you know. I don't know if they have an animation for people laying up. Oh, oh, there we go. That's what I was going to say. An animation for people laying down on the, uh, chairs. I was like, I assume they'd have to, but, you know, be fully. Oh, there she is. Okay. Oh. So tidy. So people keep saying that when I walk by, and I'm like, oh, everything's so tidy. And it's like, are you, like, congratulating me, like, Damn, you're good at your job as uh, a room service guy, which I think the same model or the same outfit not model uh, exactly. I mean, model two, but uh, is used for um, um, people who clean with <laughs> janitor. <laughs> I I don't go to places, um, so I believe she's her her target. She have the pearls. She's got the pearls, baby. Okay, so we we know uh, we know where our targets are. She's kind of going back and forth. Um, is he going back in to do business, or is she like showing up like, hey, it's it's den den time. Let's get some let's get some food. No, she's going in. For, she's going in for business. They're both going in for business. Uh, we we know they have the the restaurant reservation. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go get them for you. We know they have the re restaurant reservation, and I'm guessing maybe that's there for you to, um, you know, if you can't find a way to get in there and do the deed in there, um, you could uh, take care of them. Now, the problem is my, uh, I, yeah. were you going to say top of the morning? Why? I'm guessing the, the idea here is the game is daring you to get into that room, which we could if we could get uh, a diplomat's outfit or uh, one of these double cops. Be helpful. Uh, I think we could lure one of these dudes back here. Uh, the problem is we're going to have to like take out some people. Because, you know, we could take out this guy. <clears throat> like, if I turn off the sound system, I could whack him, immediately stash him. Um, we'd probably be good until that other guy comes back. Uh, which would give us maybe time to lure one of them over here. Or we could just cause some fucking chaos, baby. Because uh, they're going to walk out of this room. We could just throw... I, I. They don't walk out together, though. So, like, if I threw an explosive, it's not going to hit her. Oh, well, she's going a different direction this time. Oh, is this your... Oh, is this your wine? Not that I'm asking. Not that it's a problem. Or you should be concerned or be thinking about that or anything. There's a lot of people here, though. Even... <laughs> Boy, my leg's tired. Uh, yeah, okay. Even if she drank from that wine, it'd be pretty hard to poison it. Um, you know, even with that guy gone, you know, we'd have to deal with the bartender. We'd have to deal with that guy. Uh, poisoning, probably not working. But where, where can we get one of these outfits? Like, what would be the best way to do it? There's two of them here. Am I allowed back there? That needs a key card. If I bring a card key hacker. Oh, I could bring a card key hacker. That might be a good way to do this now that we know where both our targets are and kind of have a bit of an idea of what we want to do. Um, like, it would be illegal to unlock this, probably. It's probably a... The library is a mess. Do something about it. The library? Did you say the li... There's a fucking library here? Huh. Like, even if we brought the card key hacker, 
and we got into there. Probably not going to be easy to um to you know deal with that uh since we you know we we get in there or you know we unlock it it's illegal so we would have to unlock it without being noticed first off and then we would have to uh you know actually walk in there uh while those guys are there um i think their way they're looking is kind of away from us so we could probably get away with it but uh um, I don't know, because it feels like the game is daring us to to get into that area instead of waiting for their reservation. The reservation feels like kind of a backup to allow you to... Who's getting mad? Someone's getting mad. Oh, that guy. Um, so I feel like we're not supposed to wait for their reservation. Maybe the idea is the reservation happens like they're going to do this loop. You know, like probably like three times, and then they'll give you, you know, your shot of, oh, they're at dinner. You can just, you can just kill them. So, you know, I do think I'm gonna, I'm gonna replan. Yes, let's re let's replan this. Okay, so we are going to bring card key hacker. Be under tools, I assume. Uh, we get three uses of this. We only really need one. Um, greedy little coin, always. Useful. I wish you could replace the gun. Um, because, you know, we have to bring, uh, well, I guess we could bring an SMG, but, you know, we gotta bring a handgun or the SMG. Um, do we want to bring poison? Okay, what we'll do is I will bring, um, an explosive here, and that will be our backup. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, same thing, <laughs> get, get to our room, I'm gonna get to the room, get an outfit, sneak into that area although i guess if we're not supposed to be in there do we really even need a different outfit so maybe i'll just i'll run up there and see what happens with unlocking the door why not you know it's a very open room uh and there's plants and stuff but i feel like you probably don't want the end door of like your building to be this wet uh it seems like it could cause some some issues with the building like it's very nice and all but this is an indoor space Technically, uh, it's very open, so maybe maybe it's fine. I don't know. Also, seems bad to have all this wet by a b bar. I mean, I guess wet. That's not what wet bar means. I don't. It, maybe maybe it does. I don't think that's what wet bar means. Mm? Yeah, but having all this slippery floor by the bar, pr probably not good. Although they're probably sitting there like, hey, hey, you should. You should probably go drink in the lounge instead of the slip zone. Oh, she is inspecting. What are you inspecting? Oh, inspecting the plant. Got to make sure the plant's healthy. Got a lot of plants. Don't want any of them getting like gross plant stuff. You know the gross plant stuff that plants get? Y'all looking at me? They were looking for a second, but you know. It, it all worked out. So he's, he, they kind of glance back and forth. Uh, the thing's open. I don't have to rescan, which is nice. So they glance back and forth. This lady's walking by. We'll wait for her to get by. Because she'll be like, hey, you're not supposed to go in there. It's like, why do you care, lady? So we'll just whoosh. And we're not supposed to be in here. And there's a guy who walks into here. So what we'll do is we'll run out here. By the balcony. Oh, the balcony just goes straight into that other room. All right. So we'll, we'll wait to find a target that we can uh, we can grab. I didn't actually end up going to the room. So I do only have, I don't have the um, explosive. I do have gun. Uh, so whenever this dude wanders back here, we can take his outfit and see if that like gives us clearance to get into here. I feel like it might not. Because um, this is a very specific setup okay so yeah we can see our targets walking away so they have like their first meeting and then they probably loop coming back here for their negotiations um you know because they seem to keep coming back and forth with it uh so you know maybe maybe we can we can make something happen here uh i don't know what it'll be at the moment i probably should use this time to go get um my explosive 
That'd probably be a smart idea. I would like to get this outfit, though. I would like to get that outfit, but maybe we will, um, you know, we'll, I'll, go, I'll go get the stuff. I'm going to wait for that guy to come into the room again, because there was a dude in there at first. I feel like this, it might not pan out for us because it does seem like a very specific situation. And if someone new shows up, probably be a little concerning, like. Hey, hey, you're not one of the French diplomat. Why are you here? We're here to talk with these, these two specific... Oh, wait, am I... Yes, yes, okay. For some reason, I got turned around. Okay, I'm gonna go stand by this door that y'all don't want me going into. And I'm gonna go into it. And we're gonna run on by. Uh, so a dude did come into this room at one point. Do they just stay glued to their shit now that uh, they've begun negotiations? Is he not going to come back into his office? Is there anything I can do in here? Oh, it's not really an office. It's just kind of like a side room. Is this a is this a room for like... It's probably a meeting room. It's right next to the lounge. It's probably not a, um, a bedroom. Uh, I guess you would normally call them hotel rooms. But literally every room is a ho hotel room in the hotel. Uh, so, you know, it got a little confused. Is there only one guard? Oh, if there's only one guard, we know how to get this mofo in here. Just hopefully we get the right mofo. Wow, no one. No one care, care about that. Oh, well, all right, I'll take my coin back. It is a greedy little coin. It beckons me. Um, maybe I need to flip it a little closer to the door. Maybe if I flip it, like, right about there. No, dude can't. Dude's hearing is, like, bad. Doesn't, doesn't care. I could flip it closer to this window. And see if I can kind of like lure him around. That might be a stupid fucking idea. Uh, but you know, we can always reset. It's, it's, it's experimentation. Yeah, so that one got him. So he's going to be like, uh, I, I heard a noise, guys. I'm going to go check it out. It sounds like cold hard cash. And then what I'm going to do again is I'm going to boop. Does that one lure him? I don't have anywhere to hide. Wait, one more. Okay, so he's going to see that. Okay, he sees that coin. I don't have anywhere to hide his body, which isn't great. Oh, shit. I don't have anywhere to hide his body. So what I'm going to do, strategically, I'm going to drag him out here. Pick up the coin. Gonna pick up my case. Gonna drag him out. Crime has been noticed. Okay, well, maybe I'll leave the body in this room and just see where that goes instead. Because I seem to have went out a little too far. I could run out there and try and change clothes real quick, uh, but I don't. I don't want to get shot to death. I think. I think the plan is starting to formulate. Oh, they're both together at this point, uh, wherever they arrive from. It seems to be like some kind of uh, secret back entrance or whatever. Because um, uh, Diana did say, won't come by the river. Uh, so some kind of staff entrance, they, they kind of uh, come through. Uh, we're not allowed in. Oh, they are both right there at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not like I could just throw the explosive because i if i had the explosive now and i threw it and then i you know i just turned around and you know hit the button they probably would figure out hey that guy threw something then something exploded it was probably that thing he threw he probably did it and then it would be just us running away like hoop hope i can get to the exit before they kill me uh probably not the best not, not the best plan I wouldn't say it's a bad plan. Also, well, no, I was going to say, um, if I came in here, uh, instead of like futzing around with waiting for these yahoos, if I may be so bold, um, I could run in, I could get the uh, staff outfit from near the bathroom. That's real easy to get. I could run up here and then maybe just, at that point, I feel like I'm just changing the angle I'm trying to attempt this with uh, because I would be like, you know, I'm trying to 
it's just, I'm trying to do something I feel like it's not going to work. Because then I'd be like, right. what? Instead, I'm going to throw the explosive from over there. Different people are going to see uh, different things. Uh, and it's probably not going to go. You may not believe this, but different people standing in different places end up seeing different things. It's fucked up and true. But, you know, it's the, it's the workaday world. So probably not going to be yeeting an explosive uh, at them uh, just from a normal angle. I'm going to need a covert angle of some sort, I believe. So we'll come over here. They're looking. There, he's like, hey, that dude's just walking around. Dude. Hey, he's standing by that thing that fucking locks the door. And, you know, I'm not, maybe I am. I need to be looking at it to get the action. See, you know, no problem. So he looks over and he's like, Dude's, the dude's just standing over there. I don't, I don't think he's... I don't think he's supposed to be over there, but... Oh, hey, he, he's not standing over there anymore. Well, I mean, you know, I guess there's no problem then. Okay, so I could try and lure this dude in again. Um, I have my pale duck. I mean, if I see my targets, could try to just, you know... I mean, the, I mean, the reason I brought that pale duck is we were going to try and... um you know, take this dude out here. Um, oh, man. I, I know I've said this. Oh, that drink is very, very green. I would be afraid to drink that. Um, I mean, it might be tasty. It's it's just like like mutant ninja turtle. Ooh, I skipped the teenage, but, you know, the, the you know, it, it looks like ooze. It, uh, but I know I've said this. Yeah, I've said that exact thing before. Um, the thing uh, that I've said exactly before is I wish I could like Metal Gear Solid, like knock on the wall so this guy would come into this room. I'd probably be a little OP since, you know, we find the coins for a reason. Like, they limit your your uh, ability to do that. So, what is what is the plan here now? So, I could lean. I assume lean means... See, what does lean? I assume... Because vault, we're going to go over it, hang from it. But what does lean mean? Like, lean from the ledge like I'm going to hang from it. But then why would I... Why is there also a vault? I'm... This isn't the point that I should be distracted by. What I need to do, I mean, I could I could test it. Pretty, pretty sure you know, lean on it. Oh, it's literally lean on the ledge, like you're sitting there and being moody. All right, okay. And then vaults what you would use to get over and hang if we wanted to do that. <clears throat> so I feel like this guard outfit is going to be a real good one to have. Now the strategy I have of luring him in is what I'm going to need to uh, figure out. One would think that I would have used the time uh, for the train to pass uh, to, you know, think about my strategy and what I'm going to do about the situation. Uh, I I looked I looked at Twitter instead. Sorry, sorry everybody. Um, so I'm gonna flip. He's gonna be like, what? Um, yeah, I just looked at Twitter and realized that the the ticking sound um, that's part of the um, there's a little ticking sound that's part of the. Uh, pause music. Oh, am I flipping it too early and he's not getting? Okay, so let's see. Is he going to come through this door again? Because that was strange. I don't mind if he comes through the door. That's fine with me. Huh. Oh, that's kind of in a shitty spot. Oh, no, no. He, he, was just, he had to react first. Crime noticed. So we'll go ahead and just take the disguise. I'll pick, pick, no, no, buttons. Yes. I want to take that gun. I want to take that case. I want to run over here. Come in central. Hey, uh, found someone on the ground. Oh, did I miss like everything? Is this like super done done? Oh, well, this guy was standing here. He's being, he's searching. Because he realizes something is wrong. Uh, it does seem like it's fine for us to be here. Maybe not while they're searching. Okay, so maybe there is some version of this plan that pans out. Yeah, maybe there's some version of this plan that pans out where they don't end up searching for me. <laughs> and, 
I don't know. I... Okay, you go get Barbara. Okay, it seems like it's over. The only person who knows that we shouldn't be here is now Nakey. I've always wondered what happens to the Nakey people. Because uh, I assume that's the guard we left. So he's going to go to do his thing. He didn't... Oh, he knows I'm not supposed to be here. He also knows I'm not supposed to be here. So, okay, so the Jordan Cross bodyguards, um, since it did say Jordan Cross bodyguard, have been repurposed as this guy's bodyguard. So they know. But if we were to get a dude with a tie, it might work out. So they are both there, right? I think I saw her come in. So she's there. There is a waiter there. That guy doesn't know that we're not supposed to be here. Um, that guy does. Oh, this is the restaurant. Oh, I thought they were having negotiations. This is like a fancy hidden restaurant. That's what's happening here. I see. I understand now. I get it. I get what's happening. Okay. So now, if we find an angle to... Which actually makes it very strange that they are constantly getting up like from dinner. Is something going wrong with their dinner? Um, I don't know. This isn't a good idea. But if we, if we throw it onto the table... I should I shouldn't have done it. I panicked. I panicked a little bit. I, I missed I missed the ex dictator, and now I'm in a trouble. Don't worry, I, I'll do it, Diana. I got it. Oh fuck. <laughs> well, let's see. Uh, yeah, this. Okay, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Where's the, where's the target? Where's the target? Fuck. I, I, I panicked, and I just hit the button, hoping it would get both of them. Um, so the target was locked down, and we're now in a death room. Um, I'm being shot to death. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that, that's probably how it was going to go, huh? Um I mean, we figured out where they were having dinner. I thought they were having negotiations back here. Maybe at the very beginning. Um, because, like, you see the dude uh, in the suit that in the room that we snuck into. Maybe that's the dude that they go in to have uh, negotiations with. Um, uh, so there's, there's that, I guess. Um, so, what would have I done better? What could have I done better? I mean, a lot of things could have been done better. I feel like the entrance that I found into the area was pretty solid. Um, had I knocked out the guard in a different spot, we would have had a little bit less heat going into it. Uh, not that it like it calmed down at some point. It just would have that that part could have been a little less complicated. Um, mm, once they're at dinner though how do we how do we take them out covertly i guess wait for them to leave dinner um let's exit to menu uh we we wait for them to like leave dinner because they like go and come back for whatever reason let's just pick somewhere um that won't yell at me so i can just um just i, I don't want to see a i don't want to see a cut scene can i just yeah, I just oh, I don't get to plan out my stuff. Um, yeah, I just I didn't I don't want to see a cutscene. Uh, all of you have cutscenes, don't you? Dartmoor Garden Show. Can I just see? Uh, I just want to see planning. Um, oh, that's interesting. I only got two items there, whereas I oh I get three here because I brought. In, I always forget just bringing a toolbox. It's never a bad idea. Um, yes, what I was thinking is what kind of explosive because. We could have waited for them to walk away from the dinner. We could have been in there. Um, and we could have walked up and set up some kind of explosive. I probably wouldn't do proximity since a proximity, you know, we just it would take out the first one. We probably just want a remote explosive, like walk up, slap it down, um, d depending on if it's illegal or not. Uh, and then once they're at dinner, uh, explode them. I think that would have been 
the better way to handle that. So problem with the setup, the ex-dictator finds that guard. The wife goes over there where I have explosives and people are getting mad at me. I'm suspicious. Hmm. Yeah, this plan will need to be rethought. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, wait. Here, here's our go time. Someone noticed my bomb, uh, but they look like they're in pro- Where's my detonator? Did I drop my detonator? I dropped my detonator somewhere. Oh, no. Okay, so both our targets are approaching the table. I have my explosive on the middle of their table. I think people can notice it beeping. Um, okay, let's see. Hat... Do I see his hat? Okay, he's also an enforcer, so it makes it easy. Uh, once he approaches the table... Um, hmm. I... I, I, might, I did throw a man over the side, too, so they wouldn't see his body. So that might have caused an issue. Okay, so she's sitting down. This guy's coming over. I think he sees my explosive, so let's... Oh, I didn't pick up my coins. Okay, well... This explosive idea might not work out, because, yeah, he's approaching, but he has the explosive. I can hit it, but, yeah, I'm only going to take out him with the explosive. This idea is not going to work out uh, the way I wanted it to, but what do I have on me at the moment? Just gun. Yeah, and I don't think just going for, uh, like, a double pop like this is a good idea. Okay, we'll need to replan this. Oh, I, I got both of them with that one. Okay, well, I, I was trying to do that more strategically, but then I was like, oh, they are there at the same time very early on. Um, I, I mean, y'all saw the, the cool coin tosses and trying to get the explosive. Uh, I realized putting the explosive on the table, people would be like, hey, that's an explosive. And, um, you know, come over to get it. So I figured out how to distract people to not come and get it until, Welcome. you know, they actually showed up. So, um... Inez would sit down, and then, like, her bodyguard would be like, hey, hey, no, d hey, that there's an explosive here, and take it away uh, in a way that I could only take out either or with the explosive. It turns out if you get there early enough, uh, they're just both at that table, so, you know, hide <laughs> behind the thing, yeet the, yeet the pale duck in, and it's good. And uh, you might have noticed that... I was able to replay this even though I failed it, and there's a lot of things happening. So, um, I was going to keep this a secret, but I had been looking into uh, mods for this game, uh, so I could mod the game so I could play elusive targets that would be unavailable to us. Uh, and then I looked into a mod, and I found one, and I was like, this is probably fine. And then, um, apparently... Um, I I mean, I'll, I'll say it. Nexus Mods was like, you need to give us $50 to download any of our shit. And I was like, oh, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting me to have to pay you to download mods that other people made. Um, so then I kept looking, and I found uh, this thing called the Peacock Project, which um, is actually very cool. It seems like it... Uh, I didn't read the documentation, but you uh, start up a server, and you open up a patcher, and I think the patcher is just... <laughs> patching the game the way you want it to and the servers like intercepting like the ioi thing like you'll see like i'm level one instead of what what was i like level 119 uh and that's because it's just it has its own save like this isn't gonna like tr transfer over and like all of a sudden you know i've taken out uh the ex dictator on my other one this is this is just so we can see it we can we can accomplish our goals uh, so this one was a little bit of cheating because um oh it, it doesn't start off the same way i started from 47 suite instead of the riverside landing so i was able to get there uh before they left initially like they they come up the staff entrance and then they sit down and then, you know, they break and then we have to wait for them to, like, come back together. And that's kind of where my plan was falling apart is in them regrouping back, you know, the bodyguards 
kind of get in place. Uh, but by being able to get there earlier, we were able just to throw the thing on the thing. I'm not sure if the duck makes you, oh, hit my mic. Um, I hiccuped a little and I hit my mic. Great. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if uh, if the duck would have been noticed because I could throw the duck and leave it on the table. Uh, but you also notice, I believe I have every unlock in the game. Um, they had their own system where you can progress with mastery and unlock everything. But that also meant that I didn't have my default stuff. They, they, you know, they, they were nice enough to supply some. I don't know if it's like equivalent to like stuff that you could have from level one, including DLC stuff. Um, Cause like if we go like over to the suits, um, like we have, we have good old Santa, which wasn't DLC, but I believe uh, if we come over here. We can see like, uh, like this one I know specifically was like a DLC to get through Twitch um, like in chats or whatever. And I just didn't give a shit. Um, so yeah, we just have everything unlocked. I'm not going to be using this for every single uh, elusive target. I am going to tackle our remaining elusive targets naturally if I can, although I just realized that I am I am running out of time uh, to do them. Uh, whoops. So I'm going to try and do them this way. But because I do have this mod, I, I'm, I like to announce right now that I will be doing every single elusive target because we, we have them all, baby. We can do them all anytime, anytime we want, which also means... We can get Sean Bean. We can take this motherfucker out. Um, so I think what we're going to do is I'm going to we're going to finish up the year three um, targets. We're going to focus on those, and then we're going to. I, I mean, this is we still have you know a bunch more episodes to go before we get to this point. But you know, since we're we're talking about this really cool mod, uh, put it in the description by the way uh, if y'all would like to use it because uh, it does other things. I just was like, oh, cool, elusive targets. This is this is what I need. Um, I we're, we are going to be doing all the elusive targets, but after we finish the the year three uh, elusive targets galore stuff, I think we're gonna step away from elusive targets from a bit. Um, uh, there was DLC. What was it called? The uh, Sarajevo Six. Um, I, I've I've heard it's not that good, but you know, uh, P PS4 exclusive Hitman One DLC that they finally released. Uh, you know, it freed it from that. You're able to play it in other games. So I figure we'll at least take a look at it. Uh, and if we don't like it, we don't like it. You know, it's whatever. I figure we'll take a look at that. Take a look at contracts, and then maybe come back to uh, elusive targets and take out uh, the ones that we haven't done yet. Um. I have a list somewhere of the ones that we haven't done because I took a look at it and I believe once it's all said and done, we'll be missing 17 elusive targets. Uh, and I was like, we've almost done them all. Why not? Uh, I think we'll see, save uh, Mr. Mr. Bean for last. Oh, well, I guess I can't call him Mr. Yeah. yeah I, pr I probably shouldn't call him Mr. Bean. Uh, but yeah, we can we can do them. We can do them all, baby. So, I, you know, we've, we, we've I figure we've come so far... And in the end, it does really matter. Oh, like the queen, like this is before the queen of England, but you know, I, well, if it, if it was an angel of death that got her, then that, you know, it's probably better than she deserved, but that's not the point. We're going to, we're going to do it. We're going to figure it out. It's, it's, it's happening in Holland. I, uh, what, I don't know what the next episode is. So, and it, goodbye.